Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It is official. We are at the final four of the Royal Rumble, and this is the we've already determined one of the finalists. This is the second matchup of the final four. So the winner of this will take on spoiler alert. A uh, spoiler alert if you haven't seen the last Rumble. I'm uh, giving you a little bit of warning there. Uh, we'll take on Preston. So Preston will be the one they will be taking on in the finals. Um, this is Ryan versus DJ. These two have been really good. they got some really good teams. And uh, the winner will take on Preston. Now, I probably will drop that next weekend. We'll have a little bit of time in between. but Because I'm going to, you know, I'm going to be out of town a little bit. And I am going to get some stuff ready. And one of the easiest things to get ready is a Royal Rumble. There's nothing easier the, to do than a Royal Rumble when it comes to going out of town and having some videos out. But we're starting off with one of the worst uh, characters in the history of all characters, and that is Mr. Conductor. Uh, what? I cannot stand this guy. I hate that movie. Um, and, yeah. I'm going to just... There's a couple people I do not like in this Rumble. He is one of them. I just think... And, by the way, guys, this video is not for kids. It's, it's going to have a lot of adult characters in here as well, uh, from horror movies and all sorts of things. But I cannot stand the Polar Express. I, I can't stand that weird movie. Uh, and it is frightening. It's just like so... The, the animation on it just makes it creepier. And, yeah, so... <laughs> I can't stand that movie. I will never watch that movie again. We had to watch it in class. And it was so bad when we watched it in high school. I just wanted to go down to the principal's office and just drop out of high school. Uh, that's how bad the movie is. <laughs> so, <laughs> but uh, that's the only time I ever saw it was in school. I'd rather do homework. You know? I rather. Oh, and there's my other number two. What do you know? And I didn't do this on purpose. I just want you all to know this. But here comes Charles Engels uh, from Little Outhouse on the Prairie. Of course, he had to come out so he could wear his garbage hat. Um, yeah, these are the two I can't stand. So it's very weird that they came out first. That's very odd. But they're not going to win now. That's the good thing. because. But I didn't set it up that way. I do them all at random. But what are the odds of that? Like, that's crazy. And I'm sure there's another person I don't like on the teams. But for the most part, I like most of these people looking at it. There's a couple that, you know, I just think are okay looking at the list. Yeah. There's about two or three people that are all right. I don't, I'm not a big fan of them, but they're kind of cool, I guess, to an extent. But Ryan versus DJ, guys. And as they're eliminated, it is 15 versus 15 for the rules. Um... As they are eliminated, I will do a tally mark, and I will tell you what team they're from. But I will not tell you until they are eliminated what team they're from. So, trying to get a little uh, glance at the list so I can try to memorize these so I could do better than usual. Um, but it's going to be a lot harder because my list has been marked up to death. And Charles Ingalls eliminates the conductor. So I guess it's um, the good of the two evils, maybe. Because I don't know. It's it's kind of close. And Frankenstein's here. Um, so the conductor, that's you, DJ. So that's one loss for DJ there. And, and the other guy that I'm just like on middle ground with is Frankenstein. I'm not I'm not a big Frankenstein fan. I now I am though cuz he threw out Charles Ingalls. So we are already starting this rumble off great with two of the biggest losers already out. Um so that is a loss for DJ again. And DJ, I have cleansed your team. So your team Frankenstein and, well, and Charles, but Frankenstein has made it official that your team is worthy again. So. <laughs> but honestly, no offense to uh, 
no offense to DJ, but I am rooting for Ryan because I want Ingles and Conductor completely gone out of my life. So I will do anything. Uh, and Ryan is here. Madman Mars. Oh, I gave that one away. I didn't mean to. <laughs> I tried not to, but it's hard. It's hard. But Madman Mars is a, a, a great competitor in this one, so... I like most of DJ's team. I just don't like those two. And they ruined the whole team. Because there's a couple of guys on DJ's team that are great. For uh, And Spawn is number six. You guys should know the teams by now. So it doesn't really matter if I give it away or not. But I try not to. Of course, we got the robot from Real Steel. He's a big guy, but usually he doesn't do that great. And Ryu's number seven. This rumble's already going fast because he, he started off with those two dweebs. Spawn going after Frankenstein. That's a cool matchup. Avatar number eight. Oh, drop kick. Frankenstein's showing off and he paid for it. I like how they did the Avatar character. It's really cool. I know some people don't like that movie, but how they, they did an amazing job with the character of making him. And stuff. So I thought it was. I, I still think it's really cool how they made him. And Madman Mars has been eliminated, and that is a loss for Ryan. The Joker's number nine. And oh man, Joker. Hey, we can't do hand gestures in this day of age like that. That's how you get. That's how the you get the police on you. Of course, the Joker doesn't care. I don't think about uh, being a law-abiding citizen. And the Avatar has been eliminated, so that is a loss for DJ. Three losses for DJ so far. Uh, one for Ryan. And Frankenstein. Can Spawn pull it off? And Ash is number 10. So we're one third of uh, way in this rumble. I don't know when we're going to have the finals. I, like I said, I want it next week. I want to give you guys a week to watch these. I'm going to try and make a playlist if I remember. Oh, come on, Spawn. Really? Michael Cole didn't deserve that. <laughs> oh, man. Frankenstein with that chop. I just saw it coming and it was like, wow. What a hit. And number 11 is Grail. So number 11 is Grail from uh, Black Butler. I always like Grail. I thought he was a he's a neat he's kind of a neat character. Like you just have to watch the show. And Adam has been eliminated, so that is a loss for Ryan. And by the way, the winner of the uh, and Grail never does well. <laughs> that rhymed. And Grail's eliminated, and that is a loss for Ryan. 
So it's three to three now. He never does good. And Leonard, oh man. Leonard from uh, Big Bang Theory. He's been in a couple of these because he's had two teams. We made a mistake there. And Ryu is hanging on. Ash usually doesn't do good in these rumbles, so. And he's got a demon this time he doesn't want to mess with. Now he's hanging on though. He's gonna survive this one. Joker versus Frankenstein. That's a cool matchup. And Dr. Manhattan at number 13. And this guy's the most dangerous in the Rumble, perhaps. He has already created a victory, but he can be upset, but he's coming in at 13 this time. So he may have some more trouble than usual. So I don't know. Actually, I don't think he's won, but he causes a lot of problems. And Joker from Arkham has been eliminated. And that is a loss for DJ. So DJ up to four losses. Ryan with three. Still pretty close. And Dr. Manhattan, and that is going to be a humongous loss for Ryan. So four to four now. This is the final four. The winner will go to the finals. I feel like I should reward the winner with something, but... You know, just with all, you know, I don't know who's all watching me and stuff. Like, I was going to reward him with a gift card, maybe. I don't, I didn't know. A small gift card. And Ash has been eliminated. But the thing is, I don't know who's watching me. Some people are, you know, I, I, I'd rather not do that. But I wish I could do stuff like that. But. Ash has been eliminated. Eminem has been eliminated. That, those are two losses there for Ryan. I would do like a $10 like gift card of your choice or something like that. Well, well, I, I honestly, I can't, obviously I can't do any kind of gift card, but I could do a PlayStation or a, a Xbox or an Amazon card of $10. But, you know, I don't like doing big amounts. And also, I don't like the whole process of how you, I guess I could email someone the code. But it's hard to, it's all hard to do. And, and also, if you're under, if you're under 18, I don't like doing it either. I, you have to be like over 18, or you can have a custom rumble, if that if that'll work. So I don't know, obviously. But you guys can tell me in the chat what you guys think. And Juggernaut's here, so some of Ryan's big guys. Now well, I gave that one away. <laughs> Sorry. And Juggernaut with a double takedown. Number 16, we know who it is because he's got the asterisk. <laughs> oh, man, Juggernaut just disowning Spawn, man. I got to keep track. And Ryu, he's been in here for a while. If he could get Juggernaut out, that'd be humongous. Literally humongous. I mean... Did Frankenstein get taken out here? Oh my goodness! Frankenstein's done! And that is a big loss for Ryan. And Superman's number 17. And Spawn eliminates Juggernaut. That's another big loss for Ryan. He's losing all of his big guys. Juggernaut, Dr. Manhattan, 
uh, and uh, Frankenstein. There goes Spawn. That's a loss for DJ. It's a pretty big loss for DJ there. And Iron Man's number 18. So Juggernaut out of here. I'm looking at all Ryan's guys and all of his big guys are gone. Like his, like just big dudes in general. He still has people, but all of the the ginormous ones are gone. So you saw last Rumble how he did great with using those guys. So and Leonard's definitely going to be next. He wasn't going to last long. We knew that. He's had he's had some good moments. Leonard's on DJ's team, and Ryu. Oh, Ryu survives. So that's another loss for DJ. And Invisible Man's number 19. And wow. Invisible Man just got in. How does he have a finisher? That's another loss for DJ. So, DJ 7, Ryan with 8 losses. John Wick is number 20. And Superman. They're flying through this rumble. It's not, and Ryu has been eliminated. And that is a loss for DJ. So, it's tied now. Number 21 is Michael Corvin! Michael Corvin! We all love Michael Corvin. The man of the hour. <laughs> I give him like this Ultraman introduction. For no reason. I just like to do it. I mean, if Celine's his girl, he is the man. Obviously. So... And the Terminator is number 22. Oh man, Superman. Oh, Terminator going after the Superman. Oh, this is a good matchup. Wow. And John Wick has been eliminated. Let's see what happens with Superman first. And jo oh, double team on Superman. Michael Corvin and the Terminator. And it's still not working. <laughs> John Wick is a loss for Riot, by the way. Superman hanging in there. Predator at number 23. Man, Superman getting double teamed by the Terminator and Michael Corvin. And apparently, they're not his kryptonite. <laughs> Uh-oh, but could the Predator be? Oh, he may have it. If anyone. Uh, I don't know, man. Superman ain't an on. And Carnage is number 24. And Terminator. Michael Corvin still in it. Oh, man, and a spear from Carnage. And Invisible Man eliminated. And that is a loss for DJ. Nine to nine. Man, it's a close one. It's been a tie throughout. My bad, guys. I know. I I didn't mean to do that, but I I've been pretty good about not doing it. But the lights have to go off every once in a while. And Rorschach's number twenty-five. And Superman. Oh, does not eliminate an Iron Man. Warshack at number 25 here. Oh, and there goes the Terminator. That is a loss for DJ. So DJ has now officially 10 
eliminated off of his team. He has five left in this Rumble. And Superman is going to defeat Iron Man here. That is crazy. Look at this. And Iron Man has been eliminated. And that is another loss for DJ. So, he's got four left now. And Superman. My goodness. He is super tonight. Predator eliminated. That is a loss for DJ. Superman's going after everybody. And he's really hurting DJ's team. I mean, they tried to eliminate... The Terminator from DJ's team tried to eliminate him. And then he, he survived a double elimination. And then he eliminated two of DJ's people. So Superman causing a lot of trouble. You're getting Carnage versus Michael. Oh, there goes Warshack. And that's an elimination for Riot. So. Uh, Superman doesn't play either team. And uh, oh, Carnage could get him here. James Bond is number 26. Superman's still in this. Oh, I'm looking who's all left, and oh my goodness, there is some, oh man, one team's in trouble, I, that's all I gotta say, we'll see what happens, I mean, Superman's been doing excellent, he'll take anyone on right now, Agent Smith's 27. And there goes Carnage. And that is a loss for Ryan. So 11 to 12 now. And Michael Corvin. Look here. Big loss there for DJ. DJ's down to two people. And Andy Taylor at number 28 here. Oh, Andy Taylor going after Superman. Look at Superman. And Michael Corvin has been eliminated. That is a loss for Ryan. So he's down to three. DJ's got two left. Ryan's got three. It's really close. Yeah, there's a big problem. There's a big, big problem. I think we're going to need a bigger ring. Oh, my goodness. Oh, man. And Jaws going right after Andy Taylor, man. Superman's been doing excellent in this rumble. And look at Andy Taylor with the reversal. We're going to see who's number 30 here. I already know who it's going to be. So... And it's Rick Sanchez. So we are down to officially five people. One of these guys will take their team to the final four. Andy Taylor. Oh, oh wow. If he could get this, it's going to be hard though. Yeah, Superman will not leave. Jaws is determined to, to kill and. and Poor Andy here. And look here. Superman has been eliminated by Jaws. That's a loss for Ryan. And it is 2v2, so I'll go ahead and give the teams away. Ryan has Rick Sanchez and James Bond. DJ has Jaws and Andy Taylor. But they're all fighting each other. They've all turned on each other. So, like I said, DJ with Jaws, man, that's going to be hard to get rid of. They're going to have to charge him or something or use a finisher. That's the only way they can beat Jaws. I mean, they're not going to lift him out. It's still possible. The spine buster there.
Oh, man, Jaws throwing Andy Taylor. The teams have turned on each other. And look at, oh, and a leg drop there. Rick Sanchez is still in. Look at Jaws again. Look at this. Another leg drop on poor Andy. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, no. James Bond might be done here. And he is. So, Ryan is down to Rick Sanchez. It's all down to Rick. Look here. Double team on Jaws. Big mistake. Oh, my goodness. Of course, Sirens in the middle of the rumble. Why not? <laughs> I mean, I shouldn't say that for real. Oh, I don't know what it was, but it went down the street. It's not going to stop this rumble. And Jaws, man. Ryan's got Rick, and that's it. But they got to get rid of Jaws first. That, he's giving Jaws a good fight. They tried to double team Jaws. They paid for it badly. Rick's trying to weaken him. If anybody could figure out how to kill Jaws, it'd be Rick Sanchez. Oh, and a drop kick. We're down to three. Ryan's only got Rick, though. James Bond girl, just he's slowly going. Oh, man. They're going to try to double team Jaws or something. They need to. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> this guy, man, look at this. Or this shark. He's just leveling everyone. What a what a great Final Four. Of, oh, no. And Ryan could be, this could be the end of Ryan here. Oh, no. Oh. And Jaws biting Rick Sanchez as he throws him out. And Ryan is done. Your guys aren't going to WrestleMania. You can point at the sign all you want. Jaws versus Andy Taylor. This is a crazy matchup. Like, because there's a sheriff, I believe, involved in the first Jaws movie. So now it's like a remake of Andy Taylor versus Jaws. And Ryan has been eliminated. So DJ, it will be DJ versus Preston in the final two. Um... That is already beneficial, but who is going to win this Rumble is the question. Jaws, man. I mean, there's nothing you could have done. And Andy Taylor spears Jaws. Oh, man. He's trying to beat Jaws here. I don't know how he's going to pull this off. Oh, my goodness. He could here. He's going to try to charge him. And Jaws is still in. Goodness. <laughs> I think we're going to need a bigger ring. And Andy Taylor. Uh-oh, he's going to try again. He does it. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Andy Taylor does it. Oh, my goodness. He takes down the shark, the great white shark. Oh, my goodness. What is the odds? Andy Taylor had to spear him first. <laughs> oh, the Andy Griffith show, man. I've never seen an episode that good in my life. I, I love the show, don't, don't get me wrong. And you know what, Andy? Just for that, you do go to WrestleMania, because that's pretty epic. That was pretty epic, Andy. You're going to be teaming up with Brody soon, and it's going to be a good Jaws film. <laughs> you get Barty in there, and Ot Otis, we'll just throw him in the ocean. <laughs> he'll, he'll, be the, he'll be the bait. <laughs> Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun with that ending. That was great. That's what how Rumble should be done. So, officially, Preston versus DJ next week. I don't know, guys, if I'm going to do like a $10 gift card or if you guys would just want to Rumble instead so you don't have to deal with all that. I prefer, you know, um, I, I don't know. So, th that's up to you guys and how you want to do that. But I usually don't like doing that. Because I don't, you know, I know you guys pretty good, but other people I might not know. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, final Rumble is next weekend. So get ready. It is going to be crazy. DJ ver Preston versus DJ. It's going to be a great matchup. So I'll see you guys later.